So in our previous video, we have seen how we can making an image gallery using the basic uh, tools and TV. Uh, in, and inside this video, we're going to see how we can load an image from the internet. So the uh, procedure is pretty straightforward. And firstly, we will make an, a new file, which is uh, tutorial 01.by. And firstly, the first lesson, the first uh, step is to import the basic library. And after that, we will uh, make it to be uh, require some version so uh, kv dot require 1.2.0 this is the minimum version uh, that uh, we want to uh, uh, make our file run and after that we uh, will import some important uh, modules so we will import the app and also we want to import from uh, kv dot image dot uix dot image we want to import the image and also uh, we we must uh, import it correctly and also we have uh, some uh, important module which is the loader so from kv dot loader we will import the loader so this module is is responsible for grabbing the image from the URL so uh, basically uh, you must have an URL for for an image so uh, firstly let's go back and uh, create this app feel free to name this app name as you want so you can name it main app or something like this again uh, let's go back and define the build which is the constructor so we will define that build from self we have an proxy image which, which is an image from the internet and you will uh, call the loader and caller uh, call a uh, loader dot image and we have uh, this image so we will type here the url basically i have the url here and uh, let's go to grab this url and you can use any uh, image URL uh, from the internet. After that, we will uh, say that we have proxy image dot bind on load. So we will at we have attached the onload event self dot image loaded like this. All right. Uh, basically, we will uh, go here inside our main app. And you will define this event which is an image loaded such as uh, this and it's uh, make uh, it's uh, self because it part from the main app and also it uh, has the proxy image variable and it's accepting the proxy image because this is the image we are verifying so if proxy image dot take picture existed so if this line is true proxy image dot image dot texture if there is an image from this url and the loader has make sure that uh, this url has exactly an image so we will return something we will say that self dot image dot texture we will be the same as proxy image dot image dot texture so what happened the, what happened here so we firstly uh, we uh, go here and load an image and uh, after that we must verify that this image uh, that this image exists how we can make this uh, if uh, the image exists if uh, this image has a texture and load successfully we will assign this image as a new image uh, which is here so self dot image will be an image mbt now and uh, if uh, the image is loaded successfully we will assign this self image uh, which is texture so itself has texture property we will assign the mbt texture to the new loaded uh, texture from here i think uh, everything now is working properly so we will uh, return the self image which is a uh, variable and after that we uh, can now have the chance to run our app if name equals uh, 
we can now run this main app and make sure that you have the semicolon so uh, we will say that the main dot run all right we will go uh, here and uh, type Python and you have the file which is named tutorial tutorial zero one and it's loading and it say that can't import image from kiwi and uh, let's go back kiwi.uixit image and uh, i think uh, it's uh, not every module has uh, you must uh, say that every module has the name which is first uh, character is capital so you will uh, wait some moment after the image load and you will see that the image is loaded successfully as you uh, uh, see here so uh, feel free to grab any image you are in here but uh, there is something new you can uh, use an image which is uh, actually in your hard drive uh, so if you have uh, an image here you, as you can see we have icon zero so let's try first icon uh, zero dot bng and uh, we will not now uh, uh, load an image from the internet but i think uh, the process will be faster now because you, we are using an image uh, locally so let's uh, close it and rerun our file again and i think the image has been loaded successfully in in a short time and again let's go back and uh, use an this image zero dot jpeg let's go back and uh, type this uh, let's go again and run this tutorial file and in no time i think uh, what is the problem that it isn't so i think there is uh, no image in uh, or, or the image zero one this doesn't exist so image zero dot big and rerun our file and you, you will uh, see this result so if you uh, run this file you will see in no time that you have this image uh, zero one so that was the method for loading image inside kiva i hope you enjoyed this lesson see you in another tutorial